Shake out is probably anybody's best guess. Coming back to the American ethanol green flag. Again, it's Dale Earnhardt Jr. and Jimmy Johnson, Denny Hamlin and Trevor Bain, then it's Kevin Harvick and Tony Stewart. Coming to the American ethanol green flag. Jr. and Jimmy side by side. Jr. tries to break out, but Jimmy hangs tough with him. Big push from behind. Denny Hamlin right there. guys to help Austin Dillon. It was safe for them to do that and Austin had to love those crew guys trying to help him. We got a catch fence tour up a little bit. We'll have to take a look at this later on. All right, Rusty, uh, thank you very much. Now, this was a, a wild end to this. Let's not forget that Dale Earnhardt Jr., he won today as we uh, see the engine actually laying in the infield grass of Austin Dillon's car. Boy, uh, that's going to make uh, a top ten list somewhere. But the good news is, again, Austin Dillon did climb from that race car. Same for Brad Kozlowski. Other cars were involved. We believe at this particular point that everybody is okay. Our congratulations to Dale Earnhardt Jr. He has won his career. He was up front at the end of the AutoZone Go Zone. Every NASCAR driver knows the closing laps of a race are where the tensions mount and victory is within sight. With the laps counting down, it's time to make your move and get to the front. You're in the AutoZone Go Zone. Oh! Go up another, right into the fence. Oh, 
Alan, just an incredible finish here at Daytona, and just so, so very happy to see that Austin Dillon able to get out of the car in just a matter of seconds. The crew was all over that car, Joe. Give it the thumbs up that Dillon was okay. Again, a great testament to how well these cars are built. Things happened very quickly after the cars came across the finish line here through the trial hole in Austin Dillon's car up on end flipping over here on the front straightaway as Dale Earnhardt Jr. came across to capture the victory in tonight's running of the Coke Zero 400 powered by Coca-Cola. There you see the three car and then got hit after the fact when Brad Keselowski's car came sliding in after the checkered flag. Well, Denny Hamlin coming up in second unofficially as you saw his car breaking loose as he came across the uh, start finish line. Kevin Harvick right there on that rear bumper. Jimmy Johnson, Kevin Harvick, Kurt Busch, the top five. Jeff Gordon coming home in six, followed by Austin yeah, Dillon. Right then the Brian Newman, Trevor Bain, and Clint Boyer, the top ten in tonight's Coke Zero 400, powered by Coca-Cola. Other drivers involved in that. Denny Hamlin was spun down to the inside lane of the racetrack after he had a very good run tonight. He was credited, at least unofficially right now, with the second position. Jimmy Johnson unofficially fourth. But